this is Chris Love with love to dev and today I've got a quick tip for you. I have been getting into, or I should say love to dev has been getting into uh, hosting our websites in AWS. Uh, we, we've really switched to a static website model and one of the pieces to properly hosting a website these days is to have a content delivery network or CDN. Now, AWS, Amazon's cloud service, um, has CloudFront, which is their CDN offering. And um, one of the things you want to do when you're uh, configuring your website is you want to avoid a duplicate content uh, penalties, uh, in particular like for SEO purposes, but um, you can also have cross-domain issues uh, when it comes to, you know, just referencing assets in your website. You want to kind of eliminate uh, multiple domains if you can. Um, I know in the past we've tried to do what we call do domain sharding so we could get extra um, uh, connections to the server to, to download assets. Uh, but uh, with HTTP2, that's going away, and that's uh, one of the benefits you get from using uh, AWS's CloudFront is HTTP2 support. We'll have some videos on HTTP2 uh, in the near future, so stay uh, you know connected with us so you can uh, know when those are posted. Now I've got a just using uh, our site Love to Dev, and as you notice, it's just Love to Dev up here in the address bar, and of course it's HTTPS. But this is being served from CloudFront. And here are our CloudFront distributions. Now, right here is the main CDN distribution, and that is pointing to an S3 bucket. We're not going to cover that today, but what I do want to draw your attention to is a couple of lines below. You'll see that there's the www.love to dev. Now, what I had to do to get this to work properly, and what we're trying to do is we're trying to do a redirect from uh, either your primary domain to the www subdomain version of it or the www to your primary domain. It doesn't matter which one you pick. Um, you should pick one or the other and standardize on that one. Um, I like to go with the primary domain because the reason we have www is sort of legacy. Uh, back in the early days of the internet, uh, that was sort of an alias to identify the protocol that was being used. Uh, back in the early 90s when I first started getting on the web, we had a lot of other direct protocols or services. I don't want to say protocols, but services that we would use. And a lot of times we would set domains up, domain up, uh, domain <laughs> subdomains up to point to those different service types on our uh, within our organization, let's say. So www stood for World Wide Web. Uh, back then we also had things like Gopher and so and so forth, but uh, I don't know if we anybody's got a Gopher server these days. <laughs> Anywho, so um, to get this to work within Amazon's cloud infrastructure, what you do need to do is set up another uh, S3 bucket. Uh, and in that S3 bucket, what you want to do is you want to configure a redirect. Now, let me just go open the S3 bucket for this. And I do tend to play a little more in the, con the uh, web console for my uh, Amazon stuff than I probably should. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to scroll down here to the bottom. And here is the www love to dev. Now, I've got an index HTML in here. It's actually for me playing around and experimenting. <clears throat> I don't even need that anymore. But what we do need to do in the bucket is go to the static website hosting settings and choose this last one here. Let me scroll up just so you can see. Um, the default is do not enable website hosting or enable website hosting. I'm going to have another video just on this topic alone. So look for that one on our video list. And then the third option is redirect all requests to another host name. And in this case, I'm redirecting to our primary domain. So that's how this bucket will respond when it's accessed directly. Now, if you know anything about the way buckets are configured, you can access them directly as, say, the S3 bucket. But when you enable web hosting, you can also get to them uh, with the domain. And, and here's the actual website. Uh, endpoint, and that's going to be 
the name of your bucket dot s3 dash website dash the region that you have provisioned the bucket dot amazon aws dot com um, again i'll go over that in the static website hosting video series uh, but today i just want to uh, focus on how to do this redirect because it's not quite so obvious now the CloudFront distribution that you point to your bucket, and that's going to be called an origin in your CloudFront, does pick up on most of the configuration you've done for your website. By that I mean uh, any kind of cache headers and things like that, especially on the individual uh, files or in S3 parlance keys, um, the way you have those configured to be served. However, it does not pick up on this redirect all request to another host name. And there's also a way to do some configuration to control redirects. Uh, it doesn't necessarily pick up on those uh, so well either. Um, so to get around that, what we do is you create a separate uh, bucket that is your, your redirect bucket, so to speak. And then you're going to create a whole new CloudFront distribution and point it at that bucket. But you're not going to point to it with the bucket name .s3 .amazon AWS. As you can see that I, I did here on the primary domain, instead you're going to point to it as the public website URL. And that will cause it to trigger the redirect for you because it's going to serve that default response from that S3 bucket and that's going to cause your browser to redirect. So that's what I've done here. I've pointed uh, this particular bucket at the www love to dev.com s3 bucket and then when we go to www.love to dev you'll see that it doesn't redirect i swear folks it's just worked why is this not working <laughs> Ugh, you got to be kidding me let's try this When I do it that way, it works. I wonder if it's because I've already got the protocol on there. Hmm. I'll have to investigate that a little further. So there's there's a potential hole in my system, so to speak. Let's just try www. Okay, so it works as long as I don't have the protocol on there. So I will investigate that further and see what the deal is. Because that shouldn't be the case. But anyway, um, all right. Oh, also, too, you need to make sure your DNS is set up correctly to manage this. So to do that, we're going to go to services. We're going to go to Route 53 because that's where I maintain my DNS. And we'll go to hosted zones. And we'll go down here. And I'll have another video on configuring this properly. But you want to make, instead of being a C name or an alias, for your www, you want it to be an A record, and you're going to want to choose alias, and you're, then you're going to want to point it at your CloudFront distribution. Now, because we're in an evolving world, you don't want to use just an A record uh, because you want to be able to support IP6, anyway, uh, IPv, yeah, the, the latest version of IP, <laughs> which has got a different kind of uh, addressing system, and these are called uh, AA. AA records, and you want to do the same thing. You want to set up as an alias and point it at that CloudFront distribution. And that should uh, get most of your stuff in place. Obviously, I found a little hole as I was recording the video, so uh, I will investigate that, and I'll might probably make another video about that one. So um, I hope this helps you out. I know um, I struggled with this uh, a little bit, getting my DevOps set up for the sites, and I noticed that many other people were asking the same question around the Internet. And so hopefully this video will help you resolve an issue there. Thanks a lot. Again, this is Chris Love with Love to Dev. We hope you've enjoyed this video and we'll select the like button below. If you haven't subscribed to our YouTube channel, please do. And if you're interested in our newsletter, please visit lovetodev.com newsletter.